welcome to easy solutions few months back i have started classes of katia it was very interesting software so i thought why not to spread this knowledge through the medium of youtube so i have started this channel for the tutorial of katia i will be explaining all the workbenches one by one and solve different problem in design so if anyone is having any problem or any issue can comment below i will solve it and give a solution for it so let's get started this is the window which pop up when we launch the software here we can see that on the top there is a toolbar it is having option of file where we can create a new file or open an existing file there are many options like edit view insert tool etc which are used in the application itself in this tutorial i will be telling you about sketching and part design so we should know how to start the file select the file option present in the toolbar then select new after selecting it you can see that a new tab is open here in this we can see that there are many options which we can use in the katia select part from the given options which is needed to understand part design after that a new interface will be opened we can change the background configuration like grid size grid color by clicking on options present in tools you can go there by selecting tools and then options after that it will show a tab like this click on the option named parameter and measurement present on the left side in options and then select scale option on the top through this you can change the scale of the background by clicking option unit present on the top you can change the unit of the grid and when you will draw anything it will show in the same dimensions click the sketcher option draw it on the left side here you can change the grid display snap up the point allow distortion we can also select geometry of the sketch plane and some of the constraints you can also select the color of the background the operations you perform like sketching etc can be seen on the left side of the window the right there is a option to which you can enter into a sketcher window you can enter there by selecting a sketcher option and then selecting a sketcher plane or by selecting a sketcher plane and then selecting a sketcher icon So the option shown on the right side is known as exit poke bench. Here you can exit from the current work bench. So when you enter in a sketch or work bench, you will see this profile toolbar. We will study about this toolbar and the features of this toolbar and how can we use it. So the first option we see in the toolbar is profile toolbar. It is like a multi-line feature in AutoCAD. We can create a multi-line by click and then drag it. The next line starts as we click the second point of the first line. We can also make the curve in this by simply clicking on the second point and then dragging it it will ask you to enter the radius of the curve
So now the second option come named rectangle. Through this we can make a rectangle or a four sided figure through different methods. You can also make parallelogram by selecting a third option in rectangle. option in rectangle where we can draw a parallelogram by the two lines alignment. We have drawn two reference line. Then select the two reference line and then the parallelogram can be made accordingly. We can give the different length and height to it. It is the very useful feature in Katia. So the next feature come in the profile toolbar is of circle. Through this we can create different type of circle, 3 point circle, 2 point circle, 1 point circle and etc. So the first option is 1 point circle which is pretty basic and can be drawn easily. Then option come a tangent circle in which a circle is drawn tangent through three lines. Then the fourth option of profile toolbar comes named spline. It is having two options in it. The first option in which we can simply click a point and the curve is made. And the second option is used to close the two points with the help of curve. And the fifth option of the profile toolbar is known as oval. We can also make a hyperbola or parabola through this feature. So the sixth feature of our profile toolbar is line. We can make different type of lines, simple line, extended line, both sided line, etc. We can also draw a tangent line through two curves. To demonstrate it, I have drawn two circles and through this these circles.
we can also make a line which is bisecting other two lines. We can also make a line perpendicular to any curved surface. The seventh and eighth option is axis and point. An axis option is used to give an axis to a solid object like cylinder or a sphere. And the last option is point. This option can only be understood by the practice. So in a future video I will be telling how to use it and its applications. Your queries are waiting in comment box. Do comment guys. If you like the video, don't forget to press the subscribe button.